Hey guys, this is me, Delecto, and today I'll show you how to properly record off of the Dolphin emulator. I've seen plenty of tutorials before I started making my own videos and most of them were just garbage, so I thought, hey, let's make one. The first thing you're gonna need is a powerful rig, like a good computer. Otherwise, your footage will either look worse than on the Wii if you decide to record on low settings or it will just be choppy or running on a really bad frame rate and we want to have a good recording. The next thing you're gonna need is obviously a Dolphin emulator itself. I suggest that you use Dolphin emulator version 5.0 because it's the most current one and it seems to run everything the best. Like I've uh, tried to use the older versions and they were not as good as the new one. You're also gonna need a recording software, which is up to you to choose, but I recommend using OBS Studio. OBS Studio is 100% free and it comes with tons of options, like you can change the frame rate, the resolution, the rendering codec, like you can change everything for the recording. You're also going to need an ISO for the game you want to record. There's a way to rip games from your Wii disc onto an external HDD. And I'll give you links to everything you need to set it up in the description below. So just check that out and you're good to go. You're also going to need an editing software. You can choose whatever you are most comfortable with, but I'm working with Sony Vegas. Firstly, I'll show you how to record everything with OBS. This is the OBS user interface. To start recording, you have to add a scene. Just name whatever you want it. I'll just call it scene two. Then you have to right click on source and just go to screen recording. Yes, make that, yes. Now you see what you're recording on the screen and you just click okay. You can choose if you want to show the display in a mouse cursor or not. So that's how you set up a recording in OBS Studio. Let's go into the options. I'm running my videos on 35,000 bitrate, which uh, results in pretty big files. I'm also running uh, the NVENC encoder, which is the same as Shadowplay uses, so there is no frame rate loss while recording at all because it's all done in the GPU. I decided to turn my audio bitrate into 160 because it's good. It's not uselessly high, but it's high enough so that it makes a difference. Um, audio, uh, uh, recording format is MP4 because that's the best there is to handle, like from all of those, like FLV cannot be opened in Sony Vegas, MOV is not efficient enough and others, I don't know, they're not efficient enough as well, like we're not recording Blu-ray and those, I don't even know those two. Uh, and you wanna check NVE, NVENC here as well, if you are running an NVIDIA graphics card Otherwise you cannot use that and I recommend you don't use this program to record. Yeah, I'm also running on a 60 FPS when I'm recording the game. Audio settings are standard just like the rest of my settings. You can find the hotkeys wherever you want it. I got them on F2 and F3 but it's up to you. And that's about it for OBS Studio settings. So let's get started with recording a game. Like I said, you have the screen recording up and what you want to do is open Dolphin, go into the graphics menu, check use full screen and use VSync. For whatever reason, it's, it's good VSync. And go to advanced and miscellaneous, use borderless full screen. This will make it so that the entire screen gets filmed, even though when you're in full screen, otherwise it wouldn't get filmed. It's pretty strange but it works. So let's start up with Mario Kart Wii for example. We know how this works I guess. Let's press F2 and let's continue in the game. Like Let's record a bit of fun driving. Yeah, let's record some driving. I don't know. As you can see, the game is running at a smooth 60 frames per second, even though while I'm recording right now. And it should continue to do so, unless there's some processes going on on my computer right now, like Google Chrome. But 
usually it should run like that in full 80, 1080p, 60 FPS, no quality loss at all. Yeah, this is just some random driving now. And yeah, let's start the recording and close Dolphin. And your video output should be um, in the folder where you designated it to be. So for me, it would be C user selector videos, which is the standard output folder. And yeah, that's about it. This is how you properly record videos on Dolphin emulator. I hope I was helpful for you. I hope you know how it works now. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll link everything you need down in the description. And thanks for watching. Bye.